Hello! Welcome to Mail Engine. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to process bounced mails. To get started, the first step is to add a bounced email address. This is the email address that we will use to receive all the bounced mails. In this example, we will use this Gmail account which has no emails yet. Take note of the email address. Now go back to the Mail Engine. Go to the email settings, scroll down, and look for the check bounced mails. Click on the link Manage Default Return Path and IMAP Credentials to detect bounced mails. You need to make sure that there are values here in the IMAP Credentials. This is where you will input all your IMAP values and what email address will receive the bounced mails. For the IMAP hostname, we have imap.gmail.com since we are using a Gmail account. With an IMAP port of 993, IMAP username is the email address that we will use for receiving the bounced mails. This is also our return path. IMAP password is the password that you allocated for this email address, and the encryption is SSL. In addition, we can also add specific return paths or IMAP credentials for all SMTPs. It is for those SMTPs which do not allow a user to modify a return path. Now we set up the from emails where we will add this email address for our bounced mails. Click from emails. If you have to create a new data, just click the create new button. Enter all the details, then click save settings. Then we go to the lists. Click the create new button below, input a list name. Then click the Create New List. Now we can add an email address manually or import email addresses from an Excel CSV file. For example, we enter test email at gmail.com. Then we click the plus button to add this to the list. For this example, let's use an existing list. We have a list named Bounce Mail Test. Let us see the list by clicking the Add Subscribers button. The fourth and fifth email addresses are invalid email addresses, so these two should bounce and appear in our return address. Now let's compose an email to test our bounced mail. Click the Compose Mail above. We can now create our new email. Select from where to send mail. Select the SMTP. Select the email list. Type in the email subject and then let's put in a content. Now we send mail. Wait for it to be successfully sent. Go to email settings, click the check bounces box to check for the emails that was returned to the sender and not received by the subscribers. Let's check our test bounce email address. Here we see that we have received the bounce mails. This email is invalid. The second one is also an invalid email address. This one right here is a valid email address. Going to our dashboard, we can check that the latest emails are indicated here. We can check the email that we just sent and take a look at the number of bounced mails. We can also check what email address that bounced by clicking this link. We do have an option to export it to an Excel CSV file or delete it. If you want to delete it, just click this button. As you may notice, when you delete an email address from here, it gets removed from the list it was originated. This one is blank, meaning it's already deleted from the bounce mail test list. We can also delete bounce mails per category. Just go to email settings. We have an option to choose. If you want to delete types of bounces from the list or from the inbox of the bounce mail, let us try deleting all the bounce mails from our return path bounce mail. Click check bounces, then wait. Now let's check our inbox. You can see here that all the mailer delivery system were all deleted. Those are the invalid email addresses. And this one right here did not bounce so it was not deleted. We can also set up this API URL to check bounce mails with cron jobs. But we do have a separate video that shows you how to do it. Make sure you watch it. Thank you.